Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, check this out. So I want to kind of bring you guys a new segment. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe only if you want to learn more about digital hacks and how to scale your business by connecting them with different lifetime deals and or working with any other types of tools. All right, so got that all out of the way. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, I'm going to be taking off for a couple of days. I got some personal things I got to take care of. I'll be popping in occasionally, but I wanted to bring you a new segment uh, called In Case You Miss It, right? And it has to do with some different tools that people they may not be talking about, but I just want to, if you remember this channel, which it's only 99 cents, I don't know why you would not be a member to get some of the insights and get some of my weekly behind the scenes and some different things that I'm working on and such stuff. If you, you would know that I'm ready to bring you this video, they've known about it for maybe about two weeks now, and I've kind of already been talking about it. But what I want to do is I just want to share two tools with you that I've really done a lot of intense research on. And um, I'm going to keep this video very short. So this is in case you may have missed it or in case you miss it. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at two tools you might just miss out on if you don't know what they've done or you don't know what they do. All right. So let's go to my computer. Let's take a look at it. Hey, all right. Let's take a look at it. All right, so we've made it over to my desk and I've been telling my members, again, if you're not a member, again, it's only 99 cents, but I've been uh, 99 cents a month, actually. Uh, but I've been telling them about Una CMS for a while. Now, Una CMS, just to kind of give you some background on it and the reason why it's, it only has four reviews because this is a freaking meatball sandwich, right? Uh, it is... Let's let me just give you let me give you let me give you the bad news first, right? Let me give you good news and the bad news. The bad news is this may be the most uh comprehensive tool that I've ever seen on AppSumo. That's the bad news. And the reason why it's it's most comprehensive, the reason why it may be the bad news is because the good news is you can freaking customize this thing to your heart's desire. So just imagine if you will, someone came to you and says, hey, you know what? We're gonna make you Mark Zuckerberg, right? We're not only gonna make you Mark Zuckerberg, but we're gonna make you Mark Zuckerberg for $69. And you're like, wait, what? You're gonna make me Mark Zuckerberg for $69? Yes, that is true with Una CMS. They have been around for over 20 years building a community. And this has, over 20 years experience when you see it. So there's been a lot of tools and I'd say maybe nine to 10 tools that have come to AppSumo and they allow you the ability to build your community, right? That's what they just say, hey, you can build your own community. Uh, not Una CMS. They say not only can you build your own community, but you can control everything to the nth degree. This is most comprehensive. Now, it's not the, I put it like this, the hurdle just to start. And they have over 17,000 communities running Una right now. So Una is, you know, I spoke to the founder and you know me, I, I always kind of get behind the scenes and lift the curtain up and lift the hood up and try to understand a little bit more. But they have over 17,000 people using Una right now. Una is solid. I'm going to show you a little bit of it. This is the actual... Um, this is one of this is the back end of the dashboard. I'm going to show you that a little bit. But so to basically set it up, there's a couple of things you need, right? Because basically they're giving you the source code. So you when I say you can be Mark Zuckerberg for 69 bucks, you literally could for 69 bucks. And they give you the source code. It is yours. You can do what you will with it, right? And you know, um the reason why is cuz they give it to you and then you have to deploy it on your own server. That's why I said, it's all you, this is all you. This is not like all the other communities come, you're normally on their servers or something like that. If they shut down, go out of business, then your entire community goes down to business and it goes down in flames. Una CMS says, hey, once you buy our software, it's yours, you can deploy it on your server. 
have at it, right? And they've been in business, like I said, 20 years, and it's kind of open source on how they've kind of developed it and morphed it into what it is. They have a marketplace where people sell different modules and add-ons as well. So actually, I think what I'm going to do, I may go live with this later on this evening. Yeah, because I have a couple ideas that uh, if I go live, you're going to be able to see how you can extend this even further, right? I think I probably will do that. Maybe Saturday, um, I may do it Saturday or I may do it later on this evening. Not really sure. So spoke to the founder, uh, Yasko, and this is a, this is, I think someone said it best, right? And let me look at the review and I'm going to move on to the next tool I have, right? I think some people found it challenging to set up is because, yeah, if you've never set up your own, this person says, what an innovative self-hosted social networking solution. And it says here, I think the self-hosted AppSumo deals can be some of the best and Una CMS may just well be one of them. This is a serious, right? Not just another community platform. Listen, community platforms come and go on AppSumo and they are all kind of the same, not Una. It is a completely different level. Listen, I'm telling you, once I got this thing in, once I got it rolling, this is some this is some next level community stuff. And of course, you know, I've provided the link for you below if you want to pick it up. Uh, $69 investment. This would be the best investment you've made this year thus far. All right. So let me just I'm not going to get too much into the details because I do want to talk about two tools. And it's only tools that I've kind of really went under the hood and kicked the tires and roughed around a little bit and and I kind of want to just be there to kind of give you the pros and cons of it. Now, this let me give you the pros. The pros is you are Mark Zuckerberg. Literally, you can become that very customizable everything, right? You can do everything in a community. You can do everything with this tool. Login screen, everything that works, uh, domain runs on your own server and all that other stuff, right? That's the good part about it. 1000% customizable, right? When I tell you, those of you who follow me know when I say 1000%, it's 1000%, right? So, so let's take a look at, uh, let me see, let me get here. Um, let's look at, so here's one I'm working on, right? I just started, it loaded up a lot of pre-stuff, which I need to see, because when I load it up, it says, hey, load me some pre-stuff so I can see where things are at and what they look like. Uh, this is discussions, this is the post, channel, people, events, all that, right? Uh, on logo here, um, and you have the same things here, right? And then you can put this. So all of this is 100% customized, and I'm still messing around with it. I got a little merch here. I got, I, I can put my own, um, um, menu here together. This is, I'm telling you, this is next level. Here's what you need to know. If you take on this project, this is a project that has a lot of responsibilities because you will know, you will know all the data of everything that goes on inside this community. So you will be pretty much Mark Zuckerberg for your own community. So that's just something if you wanted to set up. And I just kind of wanted to show you that. And then let me show you one of the, the back end. This is where you can add different things, right? You can you want to change the navigation, you can do that. You want to change the pages, you can do that. You want to look at different accounts. You want to give, you want to set up different tiers for people to get in. You definitely can do that, right? And this is where you can edit the dashboards. You can do a lot of things. You can put your integrations here. There's a lot of stuff you can do here, right? Um, so yeah, I'm flirting around with it. I may not keep this domain. I needed to have a domain to set up right away when we we're on the phone. So what I did is I moved, uh, the domain over and set it up really quick on my server, but, um, this is not a domain I'm going to keep up. So don't try to go there because that'll be down by the time you probably look at this video. If it's still there, it's fine, but I don't think you'll be able to get in. So, um, so yeah, I wanted to show you that, right? I picked it up from a company called Digital Ocean. Now, just give what I would do for the company because um, I really appreciate them telling me about this is they gave me an affiliate link. I think they gave me an affiliate link. I use their affiliate link, so I don't have a problem doing that. There's no cost. I think that you can get in for $20 a month to run your own server. You can see the back end. You can see the traffic. You can see the spikes. But if you connect it with Digital Ocean, 
it's an automatic integration. Uh, they run a script. It automatically uploads it onto the Digital Ocean uh, server. So then you're in business, right? Um, so yeah, this is just one of the things. So again, you have to have your own server. This is one that I have for Digital Ocean, and I think for twenty dollars a month you can do that. Then they charge you for server use and bandwidth and all that. Uh, that equates. So you you once you deploy this, you kind of got to have a good reason to go and probably being able to charge people, even the small membership to be a part of the community. I would not do anything on the grand scale, but I definitely would do something uh, enough to make a few dollars to cover my cost of having my own server. So again, this is your server. I would set up, I would just sign up for droplets, sign up for the smallest one and you can get in and use it like that as well. So yeah, so that's it for um, what I wanted to give you for Una CMS. Again, your own community, your own social network, I promise you. And they have unlimited. You can put a million people in here. There is no community, oh, you can only have 500 users. No, you can only have community. Let's look at the deal here a little bit. Um, $69, it's a steal, right? It's, it's highway robbery. You're getting probably the most powerful platform you ever had in your hand for $69. That's that's a given. But if you want to set up three communities, then of course, that'll be $199, right? Same deal. What you do is what happens is it goes to tier three. And looking at tier three, and I had a discussion with them is you can get 10 domains. So basically you can set up 10 different communities. You can set up 10 communities for someone else or something like that, you need to keep in mind that this becomes a full-time job. So if you're going to contract someone out to build a community for them and something like that, you're going to have to get your money's worth out of this because it's a lot of moving parts, right? I just don't think that this will be a business that I would want to be in because I run so many other businesses. I just don't see my time building out these large, massive communities for anyone. I have to literally charge them maybe five to 10 grand just to do one. I mean, and it's possible because it's a lot of moving parts, but you better be ready for the responsibility for that as well. So uptime and performance monitoring, right? You get that, um, you get live installation assistance for one domain. Um, but cause this is kind of self, you kind of self do it here. If you purchase it and you use my link, I will kind of show you some of the shortcuts that I use to kind of get it up and running. Um, I've had some communication. And so I've done a lot of the, the heavy lifting already. So this is if you get it, then I'll be able to, to kind of show you and I'll probably just put together, if you get it and you belong to my community, obviously if you're a member or you belong to my community, then I will be able to share a video with you and kind of show you some of the, the things, the secrets that they kind of showed me. Another thing here is mobile apps publishing. This is not your traditional mobile apps publishing. This is not an iOS. Uh, this is not uh, Android mobile apps, mobile store and all that. That's not what this is. This is kind of a hybrid, right? And it's kind of one step above PWS, which is the, the personal web services um, app that it basically takes a miniature snapshot of your, your web and put it in a phone. This is not what this is. This is kind of one step above. So this is one step above, but then one step, um, one step below a traditional app. For them, they said they can build a traditional app for you. They said that's gonna run anywhere between 20 to 30 grand for them to do that for you, but that's a full blown, they're going in there, they're doing all that. This They're kind of giving you some some of the blueprint pieces that you can kind of put your own map app together, but it's not a full blown. So I'm just letting you know, I don't want you to be disappointed thinking, oh, they're gonna do a mobile app. No, it's not that. So it's a, kind of a hybrid, one step up below, uh, above uh, the uh, PWS, PWA, I think it's a uh, personal web application. I think it's what it is. I think it's what it's called. Um, so yeah, this is not that. So I just wanted you to know that that's not what this is. All right. So let's talk about the next tool that I was, uh, I've been looking at going under the hood, kicking the tires. So that tool is Grawlt, right? And Grawlt is a tool that it's kind of, so here's what I would say, right? If I was starting a business today from scratch, nothing had, could not do anything. I would take the Grawlt and I would mix it 
with the um, the AppSumo Mail. Which tool is that? I forget the name of the tool. We'll come back to the grot. Let's look at uh, the plus exclude. No, no. Let's look at AppSumo Original. Sorry about that. So I would mix it with a Synfox. Uh, I would mix it with a Synfox, or maybe even an upgrade to Synfox. I the Synfox gives me a lot of things, but it does give me some advertising in as well. But if if I was starting from scratch, I would take this forty nine dollar Synfox. I would take this forty nine dollar Synfox, and I would mix it with the Grot, right? With this this sixty nine. So I'm in business for less than a hundred bucks. So what Grot is going to do, right? I'm going to look at it a little bit. I'm not going to go too much detail because you kind of really can understand what Grot does. So Grot gives you, it gives you a super light version of uh, a Cumba Mail, and and I would say it's a Cumba, uh, it's a Cumba Mail light. If I was to tell you what it really was, it's a Cumba Mail light, very light, thin version. When you kind of look at tools like uh, Acumba Mail and VBOW and all those, those can kind of, you got to you gotta start them up, right? You got to let them warm up. It's like a car starting in winter. You got to definitely with VBOW. It's like a car starting in the dead of winter. But once you get it started, that thing gets running and it gets rolling. Acumba Mail is like a light version of VBOW. Well, Grot is a lighter version of a Cumba Mail. And, and that's kind of the way, but it's a super light version. It's a thin version. And what I mean by that is um, it does some things that I like for it to do, but this is if you don't have anything else, you need something to put some lead magnets up, you need a landing page, quick lead magnet, send someone to uh, um, a webinar or something like that. This is a nice little pickup here, right? And I'm going to show you a couple of things that it does. I'm not going to get into the super details. I'll kind of show you behind the scenes a little bit, but really for this, I mean, I mean, a tier one, you're doing great. You, you know, unless you need five custom domains, I'd say a tier two would be max that I really wouldn't do a whole lot because you're going to scale out of this. But if you wanted to build something quick, you want to deploy something over a weekend, you wanted to deploy something in an hour or two, that's going to give you full sequences in the back, right? It's going to give you the ability to do lead magnets and all that. This is a nice pickup. And actually, if you have even some of those other tools, just picking up a tier one with this is great. You get 100 landing pages, 25 lead magnets, 25 widgets, right? So on and so forth, right? And then you get an opportunity to um, get one AI profile where the profile, you can kind of train it and build some of the tools that you want. Now, so let me, let me, let's go behind the deal. Let's kind of look at it a little bit more. You get advanced analytics. Um, you get the, the, um, of course you get the free domain there, but what it, what this does, and let me just tell you really quick, these are some of the integrations that you can integrate it with, right? Um, uh, MailChimp and, and, um, all Zapier and, uh, some of these other different tools here that you may have. But what it's going to do is you're going to be able to send, as soon as somebody grabs your lead, your opt-in, you can send them an email like really quick. And then you can have them wait one day and then you may want to send them another email or you can allow them to get in and you can web hook them out to some of your heavier lifting tools. You can, you can, you can uh, web hook them into um, VBOW or you can web hook them into a Cumba mail and do some of your, your more serious emailing. But on the front end, on the surface, Grawl is pretty decent. Let's take a look at it in the background. Let's take a look. One of the things that I'm really impressed with, because this runs like any other thing. So if you wanted to do a workflow, right? Uh, you wanted to create a workflow, obviously. You could put in a workflow name. I'm gonna just show you some of the things. Uh, quick uh, workflow, right? Quick rope workflow. All right, we can go create there and we can have a trigger here. I don't think it's going to allow me to do it because I don't have a, some of the other things set up here. I want to set up something here. You need to create a widget first. So you have to create a widget first, right? And that was one of the things. I'm going to show you how to create a widget and then we're going to come back to the workflow here. So let's come back. It's kind of the way it's put together is a little bit tricky. What I wanted to show you and what I really like and appreciate about this is 
say you need a lead magnet. He says, I don't really have a lead magnet. He says, great, let's create a lead magnet. It's just great. So we'll call this uh, uh, how to cook, I don't know, rice. I don't know. It's a lead magnet, right? You're doing something. I'll just put how to cook rice. He says, hey, do you want it actionable? Users can practically interact with these lead magnets or users can only read and follow lead magnet, right? And this is two different ways you can do this. I want them to just read my lead magnets. We'll go static here, right? And then we'll pick a, um, a good template here. So this is one right here that I like. We'll pick this, generate the lead magnet. So we'll go here, right? And then you, what you do is you go and you change the actual lead magnet. You can say, hey, why lead magnets matter or what have you. So we can go here and we can get the content here. Where is it at? So this is how, and this is one of the lead mags you can actually create. And so what you do is you go in and you just create the lead magnet. And one of the things I wanted to show you Let's go here. You can change the font and color there. I think you have to, uh, oh, you can add new sections here. You can add a new section, but I, let me go back and you can see what it looks like here. This is your lead magnet. And then what you do is you just create some of the things you need to do there. And this is how it looks for itself. So let me go back and let's create another one. I want you to see the difference. So create another lead magnet here. We'll say how to play golf or something like that. And we'll make it actionable. We'll go here and we will go with this one. All right, so that is uh, this one. You can actually create the lead magnet and just go here. The person looks at it and says, oh, that's how you do that. And so you can go in and you can do that. And so it creates the lead magnet for them to just go to. Uh, but the person have to give up their information just to get that. All right, so this is, um, you, uh, you can put your persona together here. Welcome to AI Studio. You have the power to craft multiple personas tailored to your needs, but that's not all. With AI, you can generate lead magnets. So what you can do is you can create your profile here. Uh, I'll put Jenny here. Uh, describe, I am a golfing channel where people get information about golf. That's my segments, generate target audience. And so that's the reason why I didn't create that. I was wondering. So golf enthusiasts, outdoors, sports fans, uh, we'll go all golf enthusiasts here. That's what I want to do. That's my, that is my uh, persona, my AI persona. Now, Let's go back to the deal so where you know that that's important. So when you go back here, I can create one custom profile. That's one AI profile. So this is where you might want to go to maybe a tier two. I think two tier, tier two for this deal is, is more than fair. I think that's a good investment for this. This is a lot of power for 169. I will tell you that, honestly, you could do a lot of things with this. Don't want to get into the details, but I only created one profile one AI profile, and that's me being a golf enthusiast. So I can basically create one domain and call it Jenny's Golf Lessons, right? And then, you know, that'll be my domain here. And underneath that domain, I just put a golf, I put an AI profile underneath that so I can create all these lead magnets for the golf. And I can go Jenny's Home Cooking Channel and create a domain, Jenny's Home Cooking Channel.com. Underneath that domain, I can create that AI profile. Hey, I want to teach people how to cook. So these two kind of match up. That's what they do here. So that's how you have to remember that. So let me go back and I want to show you one other thing as we close this out. So I am going to go back to my lead magnets and let's try this again. All right. Uh, Golf 101. That's my lead magnet. I'll call it that. 
let's go make it actionable. We'll try that. And then let's go here. And let me see, generate the lead magnet. Let's see what happens. It wasn't able to do that. Let me, I may have to come back to that because I thought they created the lead magnet for you. I think it's something I'm missing or I'm not doing correctly. Um, yeah, I think that's what's happening. They're supposed to create the lead magnets for me, right? I thought they did that. Hmm, maybe I don't have enough or something like that. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Um, so I digress. But again, this is these are your pages here. Let me create this widget first, and let me show you that, and then I'll shut this down. This has been way, way too long, more than what I wanted to spend on it, but we'll call this uh, Name Capture. Please comment below. Let me know if you guys like me to do these. I don't know if people like me to do these or not. I, I definitely kind of want to give you guys vision to a lot of that. So we'll go embedded here. So we'll make an embedded lead uh, name capture, and we'll just go name here. We'll use this template. We'll create that widget. So this is my my name widget, right? That's what we call it here. You can actually go in and change the settings of it. You can put a you know banner up there or something like that, right? You can change the form. You can go inside the forms here. You can edit the form, first name, last name. You can make a required, so on and so forth, right? So let's go to create a page create a landing page. All this stuff can really be done. We'll call it golf 101 with Jenny. We'll go this, and we'll go there. We'll pick a template. Um, we'll just select that one. Generate the page. And you come here and what you have to do is you have to add a widget, right? So we'll click there and we'll add the widget. Where's my widget? Oh, got to add the block. Got to add the widget. Sorry about that. Oops. It's just a widget. Is that the right block? Did I click on the right block? Widget. Oh, my widget's not active. So give me a second. That's some of the things here that I learned that once you get into a flow, you can do a lot here. So this is paused, right? A name capture is paused. We definitely want to make it. Um, let's go into it. We have to go inside of it and we have to unpause it. We have to make it active. So this was one of the things people were saying. This is, man, you got to do, you got to remember this before you do that. And there's a reason why, because there's an actual system. You have to follow these certain steps. And I think there's something I'm doing that I'm not letting my lead magnets generate. I haven't figured that out. Let's go back to my pages. Let's go to Jenny 101. All right, so let me put my widget. Oh, here, I can just click here, add the widget. Widget is here, name capture. Boom, we added it there. Let's remove this one. Let's remove this. Where's this one? Oh, can't, for some reason, I can't remove that one now. I did something here. Gotta go into it. So I added an extra widget here and there's a way I can remove it. I just don't remember where. I'm trying to rush through this. And so what you do after that is then you publish it, right? This is my page. So let's view the page and just see how it looks. So this is the actual page. What you do is you then come in, put your name. We'll go J, we'll go Jen, right? First name, I didn't change first name, last name. You gotta change that and we'll go Jen at rocket mail 124.com, whatever that is. And you hit submit here. All right, so it's been submitted already. The other one didn't show up, obviously, because it wasn't active. We can come here. We can go back here. And we could go into our leads. There it is right there. Jenny dot 
go rock it, right? And so then what you can do is you can go to your workflows. You can go here. We have to turn on the workflows. Oops. We have to, oh, we have to finish the workflows. We'll configure it. A person goes here they fill out the name capture form. That's what they're going to do there. Then we're going to go here. We're going to conf we're going to set a trigger. So lead capture form, they're going to come in, they're going to go to lead capture form. We're going to use that information. We're going to send an email. We'll write the email. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks. Right. Uh, thank you for signing up. And we'll go save here. This video is going way too long, but I always feel like I got to explain stuff. I, I want, I want my channel to be comprehensive. We can actually add a delay. Let's add a delay. Let's add a delay for one hour. Let's do that. And then let's go here after the one hour delay, the one hour delay, we'll go here. We'll send the data so we can actually send data, right? And then what you can do here is you can pick up a web hook or other services here or send it to a, an email service provider. We can go here. You have to put your integrations here as well. The, the few that I mentioned, we can go with a web hook here, put in a web hook address, and then you can send this off to your VBout or your Comba mail or whatever you have, you can do there. So this is how this works and it works pretty well. I did it. I, I tore a lot down because I was going to do a different demo, but I wanted to give it. So these are the two tools, right? That you could possibly um, take a look at. Again, I'd look at a tier two here if I was going to do Graw. And you got to think Graw is an intermediary to um, some of the other tools that are out there. It's a smaller brethren, but it definitely can get you to what you need. If you don't have, you don't have those big tools, you may have missed them. This one can definitely, it's not a full blown CRM, but it definitely can capture leads for you. I use this as a little lead capture. This is a lead, lead capture machine for 169 bucks. I would definitely look at that. And then uh, I would also look at Una CMS. If you want to become Mark Zuckerberg in literally a day, you can do that with a $69 investment. I'm thinking maybe a 199 is a nice play, but a 69, if you just say, listen, I just want my own community um, that I want to be able to do that for, then definitely I would take a look at that. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, sign up for some of the things I got going on. I got some classes going on. I got, I still do my monthly marketing um, um, podcast that I do. You can sign up for that. That's below. You can do all that. And I will see you next time. This video is sponsored by AppSumo, right? Where you get some of your best deals and some of your best lifetime deals. You can find them all here at AppSumo. Alrighty, you guys have been great. Take care. Goodbye for now.